tell us about your strategy going into today's stage. Yeah, I, I had a good race yesterday. It felt really good. Uh -huh. I so I just wanted, you know, to protect my third place there and wanted to watch the the Honduranian guy. Uh -huh. He was in second and so I just he got dropped there, uh -huh. so I hung on to Todd, man, and a lot of respect for Todd Wells, really good cyclist, I learned a lot from him, just watching him ride his bike and how he pedals and right. what he does on his bike and the gears, he rides a lot different than I've seen, and I think it helps me a lot to ride with people at his level of racing, and there, I was just going to sit with them all day, but then the hardest part of the race, the most critical part, uh, Lico attacked twice and I didn't feel him so strong and at one point I saw weakness in both of them and I I just had a feeling I should go and I, and I did and thank God I had a good race. What were you thinking when you were out there by yourself for so long chasing Luis? I had my fingers crossed that my motor wouldn't break uh, and I would uh -huh. Get dropped and it'd catch me. So, do you live in Costa Rica? <laughs> so, what? Do you live in Costa Rica? Yeah, I'm 27. I've lived in Costa Rica for 27 years. Okay, great. Yeah, I just wasn't born here. Okay. And you said to us yesterday that you'd taken a few years off of racing La Ruta to race um, triathlons and Xterra. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, how? 2006, I won. World Championship tw Sub 23 in Maui in Xterra. Then I got on a Bon Sol team. That's the, that's the first professional triathlon team in Costa Rica. That's the president, Roberto Solana. That's a really good friend of mine and a coach. And he's taught me a lot of things. And I've raced with them for a long time. And situation with my passport for the Pan American Games. I had a position, a spot on the Pantoon in the Pan American Games. And I didn't get to go. So how did you decide to race La Ruta this year? What what brought you back? I raced on a cycling team and I did a pretemporada gym for two and a half months. I'd never done gym before and I got on a professional cycling team, probably one of the best cycling teams in Central America. Uh -huh. It's called La Junta Protección. And I raced with them for a while and started feeling good and we had a little misunderstanding and so I quit that team and specialized offered me a, a bike and a position kind of there, you know, with Carlos Campos and Bike Station. And I took that and I've trained really hard and I have a new coach that's Carlos Andres Carmona. And he's helped me out a lot on how to ride my bike and what gears to use and high intensity workouts and stuff. And it's my 10th year racing the route that my dad's racing too. So I've always wanted to do good in this race. And here I am trying my best. Will we see you at any more mountain bike races coming up? Um, not this year mm -hmm. because this is probably the last one and if I do race another race will be a road race mm -hmm. but I don't know about the road race yet it sees what happens so maybe next year we'll see you out some more on your mountain bike yeah you'll see me in some triathlons too great thank you